Hey guys, what up? It's Dan from Automotivations here to bring you five things I love about my Audi RS5 Sportback. So the first thing, and you guys probably won't think this is uh, a big thing, but me coming from BMW, I absolutely hated not having this button here for my songs. So to push next or to push back the volume knob, uh, I absolutely love having that on the actual steering wheel itself. Like I said, most people might think that's a not as big thing. It was a big thing for me. I hated the audio in the in the X3M. Number two, we'll go outside for this one. And pardon me, because it is a little bit windy out. So you might get some wind noise. Number two is definitely this 2.9 liter engine. I'm gonna kind of zoom in here so you can kind of see some of the stuff in here. Now I have the dynamic package, but I don't have the dynamic plus package, which would make this carbon fiber. So I still think it looks pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't really need to have carbon fiber in it, but you know, whatever. And something that I learned here, I'll zoom in real close. These buttons that hold in this, this last piece here, look at that, they have the little Audi symbol on it. That's kind of cool. I just noticed that. So I really love this engine. Uh, very snappy engine. 443 horsepower, four, 444 horsepower, 443 pound feet of torque. So very quick engine. Um, if anyone can tell me why in the new one, it has one pound foot of torque less please tell me because that would be interesting to know i don't know why audi did that it might have been ecu tuning who knows the third thing i love are the seats now these seats are very comfortable these are the rs performance seats that you get you'll see rs right there and i was looking for one with red which you can kind of see here i kind of zoom in so you can see that the stitching and then we got the decent sized bolsters here and then you have this which can actually fold out like that for a little bit more leg support i usually leave them tucked in because i mean you don't really need that that much number four oddly enough is the bang and olufsen sound system so there's the speaker right there and there's a total of 19 different speakers. So you have one up here, you have tweeters right here, right there, right there. And then you have a sub. I mean, you have just a ton of speakers in here. 19 speakers in this system. So it sounds really good. Uh, it sounds a lot better than my Harman Kardon, which I thought in the BMW sounded pretty good. I was like, you know what? I like this better than the RS3 Bang & Olufsen. I don't know if my Bang & Olufsen and my RS3 had a sub or not, but I mean, it makes a world of difference in this car. This car sounds really good. Maybe it's just because it's a Sportback, I don't know. But it sounds really, really good. And number five, we'll go to the back, and I'll show you the Sportback utility that is offered when you get this car in a Sportback. So you can get this in a coupe. I don't know why you would, but you could. A lot of people like the coupe. You see how that opens all the way up? And look at all this space. I mean, I could climb in there if I didn't want to, you know, fiddle with getting out. But it's so much space. I mean, it's got 22, I think 22 cubic feet back here. And with the seats folded down, I believe it's 44 cubic feet. And then you press that button right there and it electronically closed. Plus, I think the Sportback look... I mean, look at this. I just love the slope of how the slope goes like that. It just looks fantastic. And you'll hear the car going beep boop, beep boop. That's just saying that I have the door open. Um, there's obviously five, more than five things that I love about this car. I love everything about this car. I love the steering wheel. Uh, it's got the dimples on it. I love the dash layout. I can change it to different things. I can change it to that. You get different views. I can get the radio, my phone. 
navigation. I can pull up the whole navigation screen on there if I want. Uh, when I came back from Chicago, when I was getting this, I uh, went through and had the navigation pulled up pretty much the entire time because let's face it, Chicago is hard to navigate. But everything is just, it's so, so, so easy to use. And see, and then it comes up on there on the other side. I usually have the power and torque on that side. We'll leave the, I, I like to have a tire pressure monitor up. So I just leave that up usually. And then we have the 8.3 inch screen. Very good, very nice, looks nice. Um, everything just is really high quality in this car. I really, really, really like the interior. Um, I know that's more than five things, but like I said, I love everything about this car except for three things. And I'll go through that in the five things I hate video, which is only three things. I can't even come up with five things that I hate about it. So there's that. Uh, if you're looking for an Audi, or if you're looking for in particular a used car, check out Porsche of downtown Chicago. Uh, I was very, very, very pleased with Nicolette and the service that I got there. Uh, very nice people. And you guys, the dealership was immaculate. I've never been inside a Porsche dealership before because obviously they're too expensive for me, but it was amazing. It was very, very, very nice in there and very nice people there. So if you're ever looking and you're, you live in the Chicago area, or if you're like me and you just don't care, and you're gonna drive to somewhere to get a car, definitely check them out. And I'll, I'll put their description below um, and contact information so you can take a look at them. But very, very, very nice people to deal with. And I got a very good deal on this car. So I was very, very pleased with that. So with that being said, you guys, if you could please like the video, uh, I appreciate all the likes that I get. It helps with the YouTube algorithm to get uh, more views to more people for my videos. So I'd appreciate it if you like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I'm on my push for a thousand subscribers right now. And I really enjoy reading the comments that people leave. Uh, I respond to everything. So positive or negative, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, I read everything and I will get back to you usually right away. So with that being said, have a good weekend guys. Have a good Easter. And see you later.